Welcome to Z Trades. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the SMAs and which ones I like for day trading. Keep in mind, I have a completely different set uh, for swing trading. I could have them all up here from 8 to 200, right? Uh, but I don't want my charts to look messy because I already have enough scripts uh, as it is, which everyone who's a member here in the Z Trades Discord server, which you can find at the bottom of the description, knows how much I love indicators and creating them. But this one is my favorite. I don't use it as alerts. So, uh, I use it mostly for support and resistance. In a way, it is support and resistance, in a way. It keeps me from getting in things and lets me know when it's safe to get in things or when to get out of things. Over here on Facebook, you can see the whole day, uh, we were hardly above it. And every time Facebook had came above them, it's like it was fighting for air before it drowned again. This is why I wouldn't want to take calls until we're up here. Everything tightens up. If I would, but you're not making money on that movement. So I wasn't even looking at Facebook. We can pull up SPY here. You can see I could just tell that I was waiting, which was a very good idea. I was waiting before I took uh, any trades on anything on the market as a whole and things that follow SPY uh, because we were just heading down. Every pop that I saw, it just came right back down. You can see how it's just riding it. Right, Nothing was safe to get into until we're up in here. Now, especially these candles up in here, now things could be safe to get in. I could just trade SPY if I wanted to, right? But things were safe to get in. We can check out Walmart. Right around the same time SPY started to pop, it did the same thing. I could have used this in conjunction with SPY. You can see right there. See it? Look at my mouse right here. When SPY started to break above, right? We'll keep my mouse right there at uh, 820, right? Let's go to 820, right? Walmart started to take off. So when things are low and bearish, which the market was horrible, I didn't even really trade it on Friday. There was nothing to trade. And if you do trade in a market like that, it's got to be, you know, in my opinion, there's uh, you can't use stops. You're going to get stopped out of stuff. I want something that was strong, something that has some power behind it. You could see Microsoft was crap the whole day, which is why I wouldn't have taken it. Look at it here. Just rejection, 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 rejection. And more rejection until we finally bounced and broke out of it. But you, you wouldn't have made anything on that uh, that day on a move like that. It just the premiums are already jacked as it is. And I mean, look at Zoom. I mean, it's just hugging. Couldn't break through. Couldn't break through. Rejection. You know, finally broke through after hours. But I mean, there was just nothing to do there. Look at all that chop. But this helped me out a lot, right? Rejection, rejection, rejection. I can just pull stuff up left and right. And um, and you can see that, you know, it saves me a lot. It saves me a lot of times. We're just riding below it the whole day, right, over here. Now, if something is heavily above it, that's a different story, right? We're breaking above it. You know, that's it's it's letting me know that it's okay to take calls, especially since we're riding it there. Could have made a little money on UPS. Overall, it was a very choppy day. Um, but the fact that everything's opened up and we're above it, I can start looking for call entry. Right? If we come back down and we test it and we bounce, although there wasn't a good setup. There was hardly a good setup on anything uh, yesterday at all. On Friday, that is the 28th of August, NVIDIA would have been about the only good thing to trade. But you can see here, you know, I could, since we're, we're, we're all tight right here and it opens up, right, I can start looking for call entries when we're bouncing off stuff. Um, although there was no really good setup here. I can see overall that we're probably going to head up because we're above all of them, right? AAL was riding above it for most of the day. CCL, a lot of the travel stuff was just, uh, there would have been a great entry right there on these two candles, right? You know, we're riding above them. We're coming back down and resting on it. Inverted hammer, 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 boom. 
right? I could have made a little bit of money there. Uh, and I could have, you know, waited until we broke the 50-day if I were to get out, which it, it held till the end of the day. Uh, again, we can see the travel just did very well. Here's Expedia up here. And we just rode it the whole day. We're opened up and above it. So I know that this is something, if I want to play calls, that this is a stock that I could do. I'd have to wait for a setup, right? I'd have to wait. I like taking stuff bullish. I like taking calls on bullish stocks after there's been a big bearish move, although this wasn't a very big move. But if I wanted to take this, I know there's going to be an opposite reaction here. I could have taken this right here. That was almost a piercing candle formation that formed here. What are we at? 98, 96 to 101.45. I could have made some good uh, jing there, right? Anyways, this lets me know, is it safe or is it dangerous to take, right? And going, getting in calls on the market, getting in calls on, on stocks that are in the S&P would have been pretty dangerous down here, you know, until we, we finally broke up and were above, uh, it would be pretty dangerous to take calls on things on the market. Overall, a very choppy day. Uh, I didn't trade this, and I wouldn't suggest anyone to trade a day like this. It's just too choppy unless you pick the the big runners of the day. You know, like Visa, where a, Visa was a great, would have been a great play. I was in one, uh, especially right there, bouncing right off, right there. Wouldn't have made much, but still, right? Uh, we're above everything, and it's just kind of riding it. Never even broke below the 28-day. Uh, would have been a great trade there for anyone looking to get in something, which these SMAs are letting you know that this is this is a safe stock for calls. And uh, what isn't would have been, you know, Boeing, just riding it the whole day below it, kind of crappy. Zoom didn't pan out so well, riding it rejection rejection. That's how I use these. This script is available to the gold and the diamond members. Uh, you don't need to, to subscribe to that role to, in order to get it. You can make this yourself. It's simply the 14, the 28, and the 50, which is what I use for day trading. Like, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be many, many, many more videos every day to every other day coming out in this, uh, on this YouTube channel.